Hi gang! In this video I'm going to show you how to customize your own set of shortcut keys in Adobe Illustrator. Let's get started! Creating a set of custom hotkeys in Illustrator is actually very easy. We're going to go up to Edit, down to Keyboard Shortcuts, and it's going to open up this little dialog box. This is going to allow us to change or create keyboard shortcuts for tools and for menu commands. Let's start with tools. One of the tools that doesn't currently have a shortcut key is the Group Selection tool. And I use that key a lot and I find it really helpful to have a shortcut for it. So let's change this and give it a shortcut key. I'm going to click on it, click in this little box, and type in the key I want to use, which is Q. You'll notice immediately I got a little warning sign down at the bottom telling me that the shortcut Q was already in use by the Lasso tool. Well, I don't use the Lasso tool a lot, but I do use the Group Selection tool frequently, so I'm going to go ahead and keep this. Now let's do a couple of menu commands. I'm going to switch to Menu Commands, and then I'm going to follow the path to the command that I want, and the one that I want is Object Path Offset Stroke. So we'll click on Object, we'll scroll down to Path, and in Path we'll find um, Outline Stroke and Offset Path. Those are the two I would like to change. So first, Outline Stroke. I'm going to change that to Control A, and it tells me again that that's in use for Select All, but I don't select all very frequently in Illustrator, so I'm going to stick with it. And then for Offset Path, I'm going to select Control Q, which was used already as well, but not for a shortcut that I use. So I'm keeping those. And now that I've got all the shortcuts I want, I'm going to click OK at the bottom, and it's going to ask me to name my shortcut list. I'm going to call these my fashion keys. Click OK, and now I've created my own keyboard shortcuts. All right, let's test out the shortcut keys. If I hit Q on my keyboard, I should get my group selection tool. There we go. And let's draw, let's draw a square. We'll make this, or a rectangle. Let's make the stroke really fat, get rid of the fill. I set Control A to outline stroke, so let's try that out. And if we change the fill color, we can see that I've now outlined the stroke. And let's try one other. We'll draw another rectangle. Let's go back to my default colors. And the other one I set to offset path was control Q. So control Q, it brings up my offset path window. Let's set this to negative uh, 25 maybe. We can preview to see how that works. That looks good. And now I've got my path offset. So that is how you create your own custom shortcuts in Adobe Illustrator. If you found this helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you give this a thumbs up and like, share, and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye.